Hello, people on the internet. Welcome back to the Shadow Gear 655 show. Reviewing this bastard. And the only reason I say that is because if you noticed in the slideshow, I had a, some trouble getting a couple key shots. And I'm going to explain to you why. And not defend why I'm lazy. Anyway. This is Neobros. The very first Necrosphere I ever created. Like, he was the concept. And, um, believe it or not, um, Neobros was supposed to be a revamp of Shadow. Like, this this isn't like, like, oh, I'm just gonna cut Shadow off and make Minion type of thing. Like, this was gonna be a new version of Shadow that I was gonna make, probably maybe three, four years ago. Where I was gonna make him black and turquoise and give him a new head and kind of be the same character, but just a, re a reimagining of him. Decided not to do that for the sake of, like, people knew who Shadow was, and I feel like that would mess a lot of things up. And it makes a lot more sense for me to do it now, because, you know, I'm kind of restarting, and Shadow necessarily really isn't re relevant anymore, and I just made a new character. So, this is, um, this is Neobros. And do I regret not making him myself, Mock? Uh, not really. But there are some bits to him that I kept... And I'm going to go over those as I go along. Started from the ground up. It's going to be a little bit difficult because his legs are really co really compact, really large, and have a lot of detail in terms of stuff. Oh, by the way, I'm going to rip this friggin' arm off. This arm is the reason why it's a pain in the ass. So, the legs. It's dusty, I know. I apologize. He's got the little feetums, and his legs can extend like that, and I can just say, oh, look, we're done. He's got one really long leg. But, um, I think the design of the leg holds up the most out of the rest of this mock. Like, there are some nicer bits. Um, like, you know, using the Black Paraka foot, I added that when Von Nebula came out. As well as I added that to Shadow and a bunch of other mocks, I had that one foot. And, um, yeah, there's the lower leg design. I guess lower, lower leg design. Nothing complicated. Like, you can tell what bits are used to connect this piece. And then you have the Hordika arm, which uh, I don't know why I wanted to use that piece, but I did. And I jammed a bunch of bits into it, a bunch of gears, and this little flat piece that I'm currently holding down. That, um, he has, a, he has an attack. I'll show this later on when I get to the head, too. But you can flip this bit out and do that. Um, so my theme was that he was going to be kind of like a surgeon. Or just kind of like this weird, evil doctor man. And, um... I was going to use these as, like, lights. As, like, like little extra lights that he can have on the sides of his legs to, like, create stuff. And they're on the side of his head, too, which I'll show in a bit. But, um, yeah, there's that. Uh, this was also the time when I was jamming tires into every little tiny, like, half axle I could. And it does help with the, with the like, you know, the durability and, like, the strength of the joint. And then, um, the upper leg, nothing crazy like it's one big like a Nika arm piece with paraka armor size of foot and uh more paraka because you know what the entire back of this mock is redax spine and um on the original version which if you do a little bit of searching you can find it um it was a little bit lazy lazily put together it was it was articulated but i decided to get rid of that i did add this little shadow matoran bat wing piece at the end, you know, for for detail, for a little bit something different. I think that looks nice. Like it doesn't. It looks like it blends well there. So that's cool. But um, yeah, like the arm, the arm armor, the paraka goes on the inside of the leg, and then Redak is just kind of swallowing the entire torso, and there's like a thing sticking out of his eye. It looks kind of messed up if you look at it from this angle. So let's not try not look at it from that angle. Um. But the legs are probably my favorite about thing about this guy. I like like the robot like the robotic chicken type legs. Or like goat demon legs. I don't know what you want to call them. But that's that. Uh I would talk about the waist, but again, there's nothing crazy going on. A bunch of horde connects and hand connectors adding everything together. Ball joints here for no good reason. I mean that joint's there if you wanna Yeah. <laughs> so uh so the torso, like I mentioned before, it's basically Redak eating the torso. Uh, but there are some, there's some Onua claws in there with some gears, literally just frictioned in there. Like, I can just pull these out very easily. But they, believe it or not, stay in there very well. And, um, 
Gives it kind of a gear rib cage looking effect, which I you know that that's no that's neat. I think the design still holds up, and it looks super cool. Um, and that's that. I'm gonna talk about this arm first because the other one is once again a pain in the ass. Um, so this is where the similarities to Shadow start coming in. The original version of the Abros had two versions that like the, like the same arm. They weren't asymmetrical like that one and this one. They both had this same arm, and at the time, this, well, actually still, this is Shadow's arm design. This is the skeleton of Shadow's arm design with different stuff added to it. And, um, I tried to make it somewhat different. And, um, here's a giant cannon, which, if you are older fans of mine, you know what this cannon is. Or at least you know what it looks like. It's familiar to you, because at the time, um, what was it? I had Fractus, the White Necrospherian, and this guy, they were... What? I, I forget the story. Like, they died, and then they would turn into weapons that Shadow would put onto his arm as, like, this weird thing. Like, if you remember Omnimon from the American Digimon movie, where he has, like, a sword arm and a gun arm. Like, that was kind of what I was going for. But, um, yeah, it's just a giant gun arm, which I, I could attach if I want to detach if I wanted to. But then he's just got this really doopy arm, which doesn't really do a lot. A lot. And the hand, you know, nothing crazy going on here. Not for this asshole, this arm. I'm lazy. I'm incredibly lazy because this joint is incredibly loose and I didn't bother to change it when I took the pictures and I didn't bother to change it doing this review. So it just, it, f it flops. It flops a lot. It's the heaviest part of the mock. But it's um definitely the most greebled, definitely the most detailed out of, out of everything. If you zoom into that. Like, there's... It's crazy. Like, it looks like there's, like, a winch piece back here. Which I probably should focus in on that. Looks like there's a winch piece back here, and there are spikes. There's this friggin' string here. And it's just so... It's compact. The lift arm, I added that because, you know, more turquoise. And the fact, this entire arm's built on one of these gun barrel pieces. You know what? I just forgot about that myself. <laughs> I just rediscovered that doing this review. Full transparency. I, I completely forgot about that. But, um... And then the lower arm. Uh, I can't tell you. I, I cannot tell you why this, um... Why this little box piece is here. I can take that off, no problems. But I, le I leave it there. I don't know why. I didn't put any... I, that was how the mock was built. I don't know why I didn't do anything with that. But, um... Yeah. There is that... Arm's fine. And then the hand. Uh, I added this bit here. Whoa, that is super out of focus. That is probably the most out of focus thing I've ever shot. I did add this little bit here. In case I wanted to put a weapon in there. But you can just put it off in there. I think this is a cool looking hand design still. Like, I, I might use it again for another mock. But I, don't, I can't tell you when. I don't know. So that's that. Lastly, the head. The last main thing about this version of Neobros is that his head is legit the same head as uh, that's on Shadow right now. If I take this mask off, that is the exact same head design. Yeah, it's kind of weird, right? It's the exact same head as the one that's on Shadow right now. And if I were to put this mask on back this way, this was going to be the new Shadow's head. I was going to use the Von Nebula head. Because this mask works better with this head design. Like, the eyes work and everything is cool. And ignore these stupid panels. But this was going to be the new Shadow's head. And I decided, again, not to do it. But I kept that little bit in there. Instead, instead of making the head this, I flipped it around. <laughs> I was going to say I made, it, made him a Cyclops, but then his eye just fell out. And there. And once again, he's got these little bits on the side. Little lights. So that's Neobros. Uh, he's he's kind of a hot mess. He's a he's some big, combobulated garbage, but I love him. I, I think he's definitely nostalgic for me, and I might rework him in the future. I don't know. It all depends on how I feel. But yeah, that's Neobros. I uh, hope you guys had a good time watching this review and watching me be stupid as usual. Well, this is Shadow Gear 65, and I'll see you folks another time.